What's new in ARDK 3.2? Mesh filtering. So with mesh filtering, you're able to select which particular channels from semantic segmentation you would like to include or exclude from meshing. The first video is showing you everything on. The second video is just showing person segmentation on, but nothing else. The third video is showing you mesh everything except for person segmentation. This means that you can correct for things like having collisions with people when you don't want them to, or having leftover geometry. As you can see from the second video, as I move from left to right on the screen, it actually creates some geometry where there isn't any. That's because the meshing update is a little slow, so it takes several seconds for it to clean up where the person was. By removing them from the meshing scene, you're able to then have better collisions as things would not hit uh, those leftover floating walls. And on the final video on the right, you can see that I'm only meshing the ground. And this can be useful for placement because it's like having plane tracking on, but far more accurate. Depth and semantics performance improvements. We managed to greatly increase the performance of both depth and semantics on iOS devices. And you can see that we're getting 30 frames a second for both semantics and depth on the left, which is ARDK 3.1 and then you can see we're getting 60 frames per second for ARDK 3.2. And when you look at the two semantic masks, you can see that the 60 frames per second version is very accurately covering the hand, whereas the 30 frames per second version is always a little bit behind. Thank you for listening and enjoy playing with ARDK.